All right, so we're going to be talking about the three branches of government. Right, these three branches are the executive, the legislative, and the judicial. So the executive branch, that job is to carry out the laws and run the national government. So we are talking about the U.S. government. And so the head of the executive branch in the U.S. government is the president. So um, the president is assisted by the vice president and the cabinet. Right, the cabinet are heads of executive departments like the Department of Defense, the Department of Homeland Security, Department of Agriculture, um, lots of different departments, and their job is to advise the president and to help carry out those laws. So the uh, president um, appoints the cabinet members and they are um, approved by the Senate. So some of the important jobs of the president, uh, probably the biggest one is that the president is the commander in chief of the armed forces. So the army, the air force, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, all the armed forces, president is commander in chief, but only Congress can declare war. So although the president is commander in chief and he can send those armed forces out for uh, technically like a certain period of time, Congress is the branch of the government that is responsible for declaring war. The president also deals with other countries. So directs um, how we're going to deal with other countries, um, treaties, they host foreign visitors, they appoint ambassadors to other countries to represent the United States government. And so the president, part of that executive branch is to deal with other countries. And the president can also suggest new laws. The president can't pass new laws. Uh, they, the president can suggest new laws. Only c Congress can pass the laws. So the president can suggest them. The pr president can um, suggest a budget. But it is the Congress's job to pass um, those laws and those budgets. And then basically the president's job and the executive branch's job is to enforce the law. So, I mean, the FBI falls under the executive branch, the EPA, Environmental Protection, um, falls under the president's executive branch, um, the F Food and Drug Administration, uh, making our food and drug uh, laws, make sure that's safe, that falls under the administ uh, executive branch. Now, let's think about how long and when a president is elected. So le uh, presidents are elected to four-year terms. So when they're elected, they serve for four years. Then they can go up for re-election. They can only serve two terms. So four years times two terms is an eight-year maximum that a person can serve as president, right? The presidential uh, election is in November, and then whoever wins that presidential election will take office in January. So it gives them a few months to make the adjustments and get their crew ready to go for the next presidency. And we have a presidential election coming up this November, so we'll pay attention to that. All right, I think that is executive branch in a nutshell.